previously on Adventures of the Star Keepers. Senores and senoras, tonight we present to you a story of doomed love, epic sword fights, and a long dramatic song that no one understands. I present to you the tragedy of the Ice Princess. Glacia, she's in a cage. Ah, if it isn't my old friend, Dr. Disco, here to watch my masterpiece. Your masterpiece? You mean the musical you stole from me, Dr. Opera? Bah! I did no such a thing. But if you are so convinced the tragedy of the Ice Princess is yours, why don't you come and get it? <sighs> oh, my missing musical! Wait, uh, Dr. Disco, what if it's a trap? Ah! A cage! We're trapped! <sighs> I knew it. <laughs> what can I say? No performance is complete without an audience. And now you have no choice but to stay and watch my opera! <laughs> Finally, my opera will be performed! Let Dr. Disco, Steve, and Flash go, Dr. Opera! Do not fret, Glacia. I shall release your little friends when the opera ends. In five hours! <laughs> First the spooky opera house, and now I have to listen to people sing dramatically for five hours while trapped in a cage? I am never letting you take me anywhere again, Dr. Disco! What? How is this my fault? Silencio! Come, Gucci. It is time for our grand entrance. Stop! Well, at least we know everyone's stuck here for the next five hours. Oh, I almost forgot to set the timer for the rockets. What rockets? Oh, the rockets attached to your cage, of course. Oh, didn't we tell you, Princess? The tragedy of the Ice Princess starts with the Ice Princess flying off into space. What? I thought you said you needed me for the opera. I uh, see, but uh, only for the first two minutes. The audience needs to see the Ice Princess rocketed off to space so they really feel the despair and the sorrow I sing about. Exactamente! It cannot be called the tragedy of the Ice Princess if there is no tragedy. Presto! The timer is set. A place is everyone! Dr. Disco, we need to get out of this cage so we can rescue Glacia before she blasts off into space. You're the Star Keeper! Don't you have any cool gadgets to get us out of here? Or some weird bat powers? I don't really see how my electricity bolts would help us escape, and well, electricity and metal don't really go together. Hold on. Dr. Disco, you're a cyborg! So what? Can't you, like, I, I don't know, you use your robot arm to, like, break us out or something? Oh, uh, uh I never thought of that! How surprising! No one asked you, Steve! Huh. Well, here goes nothing! <laughs> the bars are bending! <laughs> Way to go, Dr. Disco! <sighs> Look, Steve! Look how strong I am! Yeah, yeah! Hey, yeah! Will ya? The opera's starting! <laughs> 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 
There! We are free! A principessa di Ghiaccio! Maestro! They are escaping! What? Uh, no! Agucci! Release the backup traps! See, Maestro! Leave them alone! Oh! My feet! They are frozen! Great job, Glacia. You could have done that earlier, Frost Girl! The, the timer! There are only a few seconds left, Flash! Right. Stand back! I just need a little more, Dr. Disco. <laughs> Quick, Glacia! Yes! I'm free! <laughs> Thanks for your help, Dr. Disco. Space is great and everything, but I don't think I want to be stuck there. Glacia! Thank goodness. I'm sorry it took so long to find you. That's okay, Flash. I knew you weren't going to leave me behind. How would you know that? He could have joined Disco and I had become the trio of evil! <laughs> no, Steve. Flash wouldn't do that. Besides... Flash knows what it's like to be trapped, and has always had my back. I knew I just had to hold on until he found me. Shh! Bad boy! Trail of evil! Think about it! Um... No thanks. Look! The musical I wrote! Here it is! Aha! Take that, Dr. Opera! This isn't over, Disco! Oh, he's breaking through the ice! Uh, yeah! Ha ha! Gucci, the escape trap! See, Maestro! The one escape trap are coming up! Ah! <laughs> he escaped through a hidden trap door. Who cares? I have my precious musical once again. Now I can finally put the ultimate disco show on! There goes my eardrums! Well, I guess now that Dr. Disco has his musical back, we can go home. Right, Glacia? Hold on, Flash. I know how you feel. I want to go home too. But we can't leave just yet. We still haven't found the missing galactic armor piece. Oh, right. Well... I guess I can stay in this spooky place a little longer, but Dr. Disco took us through the whole opera house and we didn't see anything that looked galactic or armory. Still, we have to complete the mission. I hate to ask, but Dr. Disco, do you think you could stay and help us a little longer? Bad chance! Have fun staying in this creepy building! Come on, Dr. Disco! Dr. Disco! Hello! Mm, they did help me get my musical back. And I know what it is like to look for something you lost. What? Have you lost your mind even more? They're Starkeepers! We're the bad guys! That would be amazing. Thank you so much, Dr. Disco. Don't mention it. Seriously. Not a word. It will ruin my reputation. You can count on us. And once we find the missing armor piece, we can all leave. You can count on us. And once we find the missing armor piece, we can all leave. Hmm. According to our video surveillance, the Principessa is looking for armor. Armor? But why? I'm not certain, my sock puppet friend, but whatever this armor is, it is importante. Enough to keep our guests in the opera house. Do you know what this means, Gucci? No, not at all. We can get my opera back. There is only one room that has armor. 
the costume room! But what about the discard? He's fool of a sock puppet! They have beaten all of our traps so far! Bah! It does not matter! We know where the secret passageways lead! We can go to the costume room, and when they are distracted by this armor, we take the opera from them! Here it is! The costume room! It is the only place you would find any type of armor in an opera house. Are we absolutely sure there isn't any traps in here? Flash is right. Last time we were in this room, it's because we fell through a trap door. And I'm tired of falling through the floor. And I'm tired of helping star keepers! Keep it down, Steve! Dr. Opera is still somewhere inside the Opera House. Which is another great reason for us to leave already! Don't worry. I don't think they would put traps in the costume room. Costumes are very expensive. I spent hundreds of dollars on my disco ball belt buckle alone. There are so many costumes and boxes in here. We better get looking. I found a whole shelf full of helmets, but I don't think any of these are part of the galactic armor. Are you telling me you have no idea what it is you're looking for? And everyone says I'm crazy! <laughs> We might not know exactly what the missing armor piece is, but we do have a piece of the key to the stars. Yeah, it'll guide us to the missing armor piece. Wow, this box is filled with gloves. Why would anyone need this many gloves? Are you kidding me? I have way more gloves than that back home. <laughs> Just ask my wife. Do you wear gloves, Steve? For special occasions, all sock puppets do. Whoa. Check out these gloves, Glacia. They're shiny and cool looking. Hold on. That pair of gloves is making a similar noise to our key piece. See? This must be it. We did it. We found the missing galactic armor piece. I knew the key piece would lead us to it. Uh, who turned the lights out? Did anyone else hear that noise? It sounded like a sliding door. Oh, Steve! You stepped on my foot! Me? I have no feet! Hey, who pushed me? Dr. Opera and the Gucci! You put a secret door in the costume room? Uh, see, of course I did! And now that I have what I want, I leave you! What did he mean he has what he wants? My musical! No! Half of it is gone! Hey, one of the gloves is missing, too. Gucci and Dr. Opera... ...must have taken one of the gloves and half of the musical. Oh, man. We must get the rest of the musical back. I can't have a disco musical if half of it is missing. Yeah, and we can't leave with just one glove. We need both to complete the armor. That's it. You two, follow me. Huh? Where are we going? The only place that thief would have gone. His lair. Isn't his lair in the basement? 
No offense, Dr. Disco, but we ended up trapped in that creepy room with the organ last time we tried looking for it. Just follow me, but make sure you do exactly as I say. I'm sure there are more traps. Uh, well, okay. This way! <laughs> oh, we did it, Gucci! We got back my opera! Opera? Oh, um! Um, what? What is this um, Gucci? I was supposed to grab one half of the opera, and you were supposed to grab the other. See, si, but I got a little confused. Well, what did you grab, then? A glove! Glove? Gucci, my friend! Why would you grab a glove? It was a dog! Mamma mia, Gucci! Now what do we do? Uh, perform half the opera? Hmm. Uh, this glove, it is uh, different. Maybe that is why Glacia and her friends uh, wanted it? But I have no use for a glove, Gucci! Me? I keep it a maestro. I suppose. <laughs> maestro! A glove! I feel a powerful! Incredible! The glove! This makes the wearer strong! Do you know what this means? We wear gloves now! It means we will have the power to make everyone watch the opera. The entire universe will be our audience. But we only have one glove. For now, but the disco will not leave without the rest of the musical, which means sooner or later, they will fall into one of our traps. Then we can take the rest of the musical and the other glove! No! <laughs> this door goes to the basement. Be very quiet. Water? Why is there. Why is the basement filled with water? I've known him for a long time. To protect his lair, Dr. Opera always built a sewer system around it. But how does a sewer... <laughs> how does a sewer protect his lair? Because of the creature that lives in the sewer. Cre creatures? Just follow my lead. The creature is attracted to loud noises. Glacia, I don't like this. Me either. But just hold on, okay? I'm sure Dr. Disco's got everything under control. Oh, okay. Oh, it is the creature! Do not make a sound! That creature is a giant dick! Save! Dr. Disco, it's getting closer. What do we do? Ah, it's coming toward us! Ah, think, think. The god duck would always fall asleep to something. It was. Uh, a, a, a disco music! Yes! That's great. But who has disco music with them? I do, of course! I carry my radio everywhere in case I need to boogie! Disco music put the giant car duck right to sleep. Uh oh! Oh, 
stupid radio? I just put new batteries in! What? Uh, ice scroll! Freeze it! Freeze the dock! What? Okay! There's only one guard duck, right? Yes, but I don't think ice will hold him for long. Quickly, the lair is just at the end there. Gucci, did you hear something? Huh? It sounded like a duck, so but ah, never mind. Maestro, none of the traps have gone off, and it has been forever. When will we capture Disco and his friends? It is strange. They should have fallen into a trap by now. That's what you think, Doctor Opera. <gasps> Doctor Disco. But how? That is for me to know, and you to not. Now, hand over the rest of my musical. Yeah, and the other glove. Oh, hand over this powerful thing. Never! If you want the glove and the musical, you must fight us for them. Wait, Maestro, we cannot fight like this. So, you guys... Don't want to fight for the gloves, but you just said we cannot fight like barbarians, like any self-respecting Italian sock puppet. I challenge you to a duel. Brilliante, Gucci! A duel is a perfect way to settle this once and for all. Uh, why would we fight a duel with you? For a glory and honor, of course. Unless you don't want the musical back, I think you know it will actually be better as in opera. <sighs> Challenge accepted, Dr. Opera. Perfecto! In that case, I declare a damn war! Sock puppet against the sock puppet, and for our weapons. The gloves! Oh, ho, ho, ho. you're on, Senor Sock Boy! All right, someone help me put this magic glove on! Okay, Steve, are you ready to go up against Gucci? Whatever! Let me at him! Are you absolutely sure you got this, Steve? If you lose, we don't get the other glove or Dr. Disco's musical. Steve and I used to compete in thumb war competitions all the time. We were once the champions seven years running. We've got this under control. Don't worry. Ahem. Are we ready? Go, Steve! Make the best sucker pop at the win! <laughs> Thanks! I plan to! Begin! One, two, three, four! Four through! I declare a thumb war! Steve is dodging left, then right. He strikes. Oh, he missed. Is it just me, or does Gucci look like he might win this? All Steve is doing is dodging! You heard Dr. Disco, though. He and Steve used to be Thumb War champions. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. <laughs> a splendido, my friend! Uh, that a sock puppet! Steve has a nothing on you! He can only dodge at the blows! <laughs> That's it, Steve! Remember your training! <laughs> Steve strikes. He's got Gucci in a thumb lock. <laughs> no! Gucci! Do not let him win! Steve did it! He beat Gucci in the thumb war! <laughs> I win! Ah, Maestro! Forgive me! I have a fear of the 
It is not your fault, Gucci, my friend. If anything, it is I who have failed you. No, maestro, you have given me the gift of friendship and opera. Oh, oh, Gucci, my friend, all is forgiven. Grazie, maestro. Grazie. <laughs> Why can't we be like that, Steve? Yeah. No. Not happening. Oh, oh Dr. Disco, you and your friends have defeated us fair and square. Here. Is the glove. The glove! Finally! Yes, yes, yes! Who cares about the gloves? Hand over my musical! Ah, fine! Here. You know, you both went through a lot of trouble just to get that musical. Did you ever think of just teaming up? Us? Team up? Nonsense! We are nothing alike! See, it is a, a ridiculous! I don't know. Flash kind of has a point. I mean, Dr. Disco, you even said the reason you both became friends was because you liked music others didn't really listen to. You knew what the other was going through. Ah, the Principessa has a point, Disco. We were once friends. Let us be a friends again! But I like disco. You like opera. A disco opera, then. A disco opera? <laughs> it is mad. So are you. Oh. Steve, you are right. It's a great idea. What? No, no, that's not what I meant. A disco opera it is, Dr. Opera. What? No! That's a terrible idea! Starkeepers, take me with you! Don't leave me here! Oh, Steve, stop joking around. We need to rehearse. <gasps> a see, a Kamaguchi! A coming, a maestro! Yeah! <laughs> well, now that we have the gloves, I guess we better head back. Right. Here's hoping everyone else found their missing armor pieces. I would hate to see what happens if Nebulos got a hold of them before we did. I'm certain we'll find all of them. Let's get out of here before they decide they need a lightning bat for their latest show. Good idea. Home, sweet home. Here we come. 